Hello and welcome. Do you have a dead old car battery and you would like to revive it? Here's how to do it. This is a battery I changed from my car previously and it's been just sitting around for uh, one year and a half, maybe even two years. The voltage is low, but the status indicator shows that it's uh, still in good condition, green, apparently. It's a 12 volts battery. The first thing to check is uh, the voltage on the battery without any load to see the condition and if it's possible to recover it in any way. For this you set the multimeter to 20 DC volts and you connect the LEDs of the multimeter directly to the battery terminals. This one is not even 6 volts and uh, at this point you would normally throw it away, you, you wouldn't use it anymore. This is the garbage or no. Maybe no. Let's try to charge it with the battery charger, the car battery charger. It's supposed to work, right? Let's see if it works. I plug it in and because the voltage is too low on the battery, it doesn't start charging. So at this point, I cannot use it in the charging mode for 12 volts. So I'm trying to be smart here and I'm going to try to use it in 6 volts because it's below 6 volts even. So it looks like it's doing something if you watch. But it's just clicking on and off. On and off. It's not really doing anything like this. I have to find another way to charge this battery to bring it to a voltage that will be acceptable for this car charger. Until then, it's junk. I can't use it. I can't charge it. I decided to try a lithium polymer charger designed for RC quadcopters and cars. But this thing uh, is a fake or I don't know, it just didn't, didn't work. For me, the, the PB is lead acid battery. And it should charge, but it doesn't do anything. It just says connection break. So another failed attempt. Go away. So this is the DIY really hacked charger. It's a constant, constant current and variable voltage power supply from Aliexpress or eBay and I'm just using this wattmeter to check how the charging is going. I made these two LEDs to connect them to the XT60 plug. And I'm going to provide constant current, constant voltage to this battery and try to bring it up to the level where the car battery charger will actually accept it and charge it. For this I have to tweak the settings. There are two potentiometers that I have to really play around with and get as much as possible, as much current with as low voltage as possible here because it shouldn't go beyond 15 volts really should be between 13 and 14 14 30 is after a while it's been charging like this i'm going to disconnect this and try to charge it with the normal charger
plugging the charger in, the car charger is actually starting and it's recognizing the battery as 12 volts and it's trying to charge it. It even says it's full here, but I really doubt it's full. I'm going to leave it like this for some time. Then I disconnect the charger and monitor the voltage of the battery with the charger being off. It's dropping slowly slowly towards uh, about 12.4 volts. When I try to charge it again it's 14 and a half almost, 14.4. This battery will not be usable in the car but I can use it for many projects and uh, it's still good for many th other things. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, it really helps me a lot, thank you. Have a nice day, bye.